Sainam. A very warm and loving Sainam to all of you in Trinidad and Tobago and praying for Bhagwan's blessings for the whole world from these viruses. On this auspicious occasion, what we celebrated as Aradhana Day, a very sacred day indeed, when our Master, our Lord, Bhagwan Sri Satya Sai Baba decided to move from this physical realm into the cosmic awareness and consciousness around us, from keeping us limited, from keeping himself limited to Prashant in Nilayam or in other parts of the world, he became readily accessible to all of us around the world all the time. This indeed is a very emotional day because it floods us with all the memories, all the blessings, all the joys that we experience with the Master. But at the same time, it also puts us in introspective mode, if I may so say so, to wonder why did he bestow us with so much of grace and abundant blessings? What was the reason for him to select few of us to know him, to experience him? That was like a dream and that is still seems like a dream that we played, we interacted with the master of the universe, with the creator himself. On this auspicious occasion, I am I'm made to think and analyze as to what should be my, personally, my next move of life. And I would like to just give you a message in this summary. Initially, when we started with Bhagwan, our whole focus was how do I become good to be near him? And he says, nearness is good, but aspire for dearness. And for that, he used the best technique on us of transformation transformation of heart, transformation of character. And that's how we build ourselves with the hope that one day he would choose us and keep us closer. We would be called his. He would acknowledge us as his. That transformational journey continued when he said, I'm not satisfied if you are happy. I want you to help others towards the godly path. So the next jump came when we had to think about how do we become conduit to help others move towards God and godly ways. And that required further introspection and journey within ourselves to understand the master, to understand his ways, to analyze what he did to us. How did he help us in this transformational journey? And we moved out and he said, if you cannot get remarks, if you can't get marks, at least don't get remarks. His beautiful small, small statements kept us in alignment to realize how one should conduct in life. We started wondering 
Will Bhagwan approve of this? Will he like it? If I did something, can I go and tell him? Will he be proud of me? So we are looking for an acknowledgement, a kind of assurance that I am on the track. But when I further contemplate on it, I realize that he wanted me something more. And he has given us the final challenge. And I think on this day, let us look at that. He dared us to be divine. He dared us, can you think like God? Can you walk like God, talk like God, be like God? So it was not enough that we followed God. It wasn't enough that we became a conduit for God. It wasn't enough if we encouraged and inspired others to come closer to God. He wanted each one of us to believe and think like God. On this special occasion, let's all come together and pray for the peace and betterment of the world. Let's all pray that our beautiful benevolent master continues to shower his blessings, continues to shower his grace over all of us and keep guiding us towards him in our becoming the shadow, the spark of himself, the divinity. May this occasion become as auspicious as he desires. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity and sign up.